Somebody should tell you this every time you pull up to the drive through at Burger King, Michelin Man. Somebody should be telling you this. Yo, Yo for all the people this, this video is really funny. Depression. This is what happens Suicide. when you live in a recovery home and you can't raise your voice. Hear this. How to be a shitty person one on one. She's whispering. That's not her place. Maybe you weren't <laughs> taught growing up. So let me That room she's lesson. in, that's all she lives in. There's positive attention. Speak up! For positive behavior. Oh, he attention. can't raise the voice. She know damn well the owner behavior. will be like. Lower the volume! There has to be some kind of connection when it comes to inbreeding and a certain level of intelligence because anybody would know that this guy started with me. I know you don't know that because you don't know how to count to 10. I ain't want to do it, but. For you. If you vote for me, all of your wildest dreams will come true. <laughs> Yo, it looks like Mario. Boy, oh 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 boy. It's dinner. Mamma mia! Mamma mia! <laughs> what Home Depot did you pick them up from? If you could say your ABCs without stuttering, without thinking twice, without looking confused into the camera, I'll get off of TikTok. I promise, I'll get off of TikTok. Yo, bully me crew, all jokes aside, I had to come in my son's room for this. But if any of y'all could read one page out of Cows Can Moo, Can You, I promise I'll delete everything. One page, page one. You know, it's very telling that after you tried to get some weird guy to threaten my life in Spanish on TikTok, <laughs> And I don't respond to it and I just laugh at it. Now you're trying to like use your words and whatever. Let me tell you something real quick. You have no idea who I am or what I do or what I've done. We'll leave that outside of the TikTok world. You're very, very, very out of tune with the way the world works. Because if this was a few years ago, these videos would have been done already. Like I wouldn't be making any more videos. But I'm old enough and wise enough to know. You're just having a tough time. You don't, you're don't. you not in touch with reality to do something like that. I'm telling you right now, you're not in touch with reality. Like You see the smile on my face? It's not going anywhere. Like I know what I do. I know who I am. You think it's a game. Like You're just like joking around and stuff when you say something like that. I know you're joking around. Have a good day. Yeah, I am Latino. And by the way, I'm done. I'm not saying anything about anybody else. Please, everybody out there, leave me alone. Stop bullying me. I can't take it anymore. I'm not going to say anything about anybody. Don't comment crazy. Don't make a video about me. I'm done. I never made a video making fun of people with mental illness. What I did say in a really roundabout humorous way is to toughen up with the tampon remark. And the other video, if you're talking about that one, with me laughing about somebody talking about them getting uh, bullied on TikTok. That person first made a video about me talking about I got raped in some disgusting way. She got so many comments, she deleted the video. I didn't delete my video. That's why my video is just me laughing. It's just very out of context because you don't know what I'm laughing about. I'm just laughing about whatever. And that's how that came about. I never made a video poking fun at people who are suicidal, who, who have depression. You can't find that video on my page. Now, will I say toughen up? Absolutely. I'll say, I'll say the same thing to my son to toughen up. But I'm, I don't make fun of that. I don't have any videos making fun of that. So thank you. Once again, 99% of my videos is me responding to comments that people are leaving on my page. You act like somebody left a comment on my page saying, wow, you have a nice hat. And I was like, fuck you and suck my, and I, um, that's not how it goes. Like people are insulting me and I'm responding. Like what is so hard to understand about that? Like I never have yet made a video just randomly attacking somebody that has said nothing about me. I haven't done that yet. I don't even know how to do that. Y'all don't even know how to do the stitch thing or whatever. That's why every time I respond to somebody, I like tag them in. I don't know how to do this. So there you go. Had it been my son, what? Had it been my son, if my son is like grown enough and he starts typing crap on somebody's whatever is that's going to be 
by then and he gets attacked, I'm going to be like, why you did that? That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to be like, yo, toughen up. Don't just go attacking people and expect no reaction. You know what? This is so out of place. I feel bad for you. I hope you have all the help you need to take care of your kid with autism. Because obviously you're going through something or have gone through something to come to this conclusion out of a video of me making jokes. So come to terms with your deal. That's nice, but that doesn't eliminate the fact that he started talking shit on my page. I don't give a fuck if you're Batman or if you're part of the Justice League. You come to my page and you talk shit, I'm going to say something back if I'm bored enough to do it. Which, there's so many videos now, I ain't even going to respond to nobody. So, yeah. Yo, you ever went to Chipotle and ordered one of those Mexican Coca-Colas and they put it in the bag? And then you get home and you realize that Coca-Cola was never cold? Doesn't that fuck you up or is it just me? Like, that shit fucked me up. Yo, almost every video you got, you either drinking or you smoking. Jobless on a dirty paint pilling patio. Listen, man, you're the type of person that says crazy shit, and then when somebody does something to you, everybody around you will be like, "Oh man, you know he had mental illness problems." See, that doesn't fly, man. Like, I know you live in the backwoods, asshole of America and shit. Like, what, like a place where nobody goes through, nobody drives through, nobody has ever been like, you know what? I want to go there. Like, yo, you have a Confederate flag on your patio. That's how. Out of touch with reality you are. Like, you're lucky you live in a place where everybody looks like you. Because let me tell you something. You want a reality check? Grab that flag. Put that on your car if you have one. And drive around a city where people don't all look like you. Then, and only then, you're going to wake the fuck up. So long, man. Have a good breath. Fuck you! Hey! Help me! Are you bullying me? I just did that because of you. I just threw water in my hand, therefore it is wet. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not special. I've been called a lot of things in my life, but not special? That's some fucked up shit, yo.